Hey, this is Craig from OrgSpring, and in this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to get rid of all these unsightly tabs up here in your Chrome browser. So if you're using Chrome and you're working on a whole bunch of different things, we're going to show you how to get rid of these tabs, hide them, minimize them, and turn them into something that's a lot more organized and efficient like this. So stick around and we'll show you exactly how to do it. Tech tips and tutorials to increase your online presence. Websites, social media, online donations, applications, databases, and more. This is OrgSpring. So if you're like me, whenever you open up your Chrome browser and you start working, you always start off with maybe one or two tabs, right? You've got your page that you're working on, or maybe you're running a Google search, or maybe you happen to be playing on Twitter, or you've got Gmail open, or you've got a few tabs. And then throughout the course of your day, you start adding tabs. And you don't get rid of tabs so quickly because you're still working on them, especially when you've got things like your Facebook wall up. You're looking at that throughout the day. You've got your Twitter page up, or maybe use something else like Hootsuite, and that's got all of your feeds, and that helps you combine down into maybe one or two less uh, or you're looking at your Google feed, or if you're like me, you read Michael Hyatt's website every day, which is a fantastic website. You've got all these different things that you read and you're interested in, and at any given point in the day, you've got maybe 10 or 15 different windows up, or maybe 10 or 15 different tabs up, and the more tabs you add, the smaller each one gets, making it harder to read, or you need to cycle through so many of them. In any event, it looks a little ugly having all these tabs open up on the top of your site. So what I want to show you is a way that you can get rid of all these giant tabs and minimize them down just to your little fav icons here. And some of these are so obvious, you know exactly what they are. You don't need to have this giant uh, text there to tell you what that window is. And what that looks like is something like this. So we have all of our tabs here and, and this is what I'm working on in my Chrome browser and you'll see that this is my Gmail this is my Salesforce window I have my smart sheets here uh, this is my QuickBooks program and here's my Hootsuite so these icons are or these fave icons are iconic you know exactly what they are just by looking at them you don't need all that extra text and can therefore fit more active windows on the front of your screen without having to scroll and it's actually really easy to add this functionality to turn this, all this mess, into something easy to use. So we're going to discuss that. We're also going to discuss how you can open up all of your favorite tabs, tabs that you use most often or tabs that you use every day. How you can make Google Chrome actually open up all your tabs for you just when you start your computer or when you open Google Chrome uh, initially so you don't have to go and actually click a new tab or link over to that site type google.com or, or do that kind of thing you can get these tabs to load automatically so we're going to discuss both of those so the first thing we're going to talk about is getting this jumble mess of tabs down into these small things and that's accomplished with an extension and the name of that extension is the awesome new tab page which you'll see at the bottom of this screen the exact name so if you search on Google or the Chrome store and you look for awesome new tab page, you'll see this. And essentially what this does is, I'll open up a new tab. When you create a new tab, rather than seeing your normal Google tab page, you see a more graphical interface. And this gives you a lot of editing capabilities. So for example, if I wanted to add something, you'll see here I have Gmail, Salesforce, Smartsheet Fresh, all the things that I use on a regular basis. And they're easily added just by clicking that one thing there. You'll see just by clicking any one of these things, for example, I want to open up Google Drive or if I want to open up my Amazon, it pops it right there into the tab and it opens up my Amazon account. You could fill in your password and you're good to go. So that's a very quick way. It's almost like a bookmarking service of sorts, but it's a more visual way to add what you're looking to do. For example, I click on Facebook, it brings me to the Facebook page. Of course, if you're already logged in, uh, you've got cookies saved on your computer, it will open right into these things. So uh, it's really cool to use. Now, 
The other thing that makes this great is the editing capability. So here I can unlock my system and I could change any of these. So if I wanted to put something in its place, I could just move that around and make it readily available. I can edit how it works. I could change how it opens. And this is where we get into making these tabs crunch down and look more like this. So when you install the awesome new tab page extension, it gives you some abilities on these tabs. So I'm going to show you how this works. You'll notice my Gmail tab opened really small and I could do that with any tab in the system. For example, if I wanted to make Twitter smaller, I would right click on that and you'll notice some options here like pin tab. And what that does is it pins it to the left and makes it small. And you'll see it takes that Twitter and it moves it over there. I'm going to do the same thing with Google, pin tab. And it moves it over to the left. You could do that with all of these tabs if you wanted. And it basically moves them all over over here. Now you can also set that so it does it automatically. For example, inside the awesome tab page you have some settings. And you'll notice here Salesforce, this particular one, it even shows an icon which you can change how that looks. And I say pin on left click. So I turn that on. So that what that does is when I click on this, it's going to automatically open that tab pinned as a left tab. And they just stack in order. And then you can move these around anywhere that you want. Now obviously if it's pinned to the left, you're not going to be able to put it in between larger unpinned tabs, but it'll move back to the left there. But you can move them in between pin tabs. You can also right click on a pin tab and you have an option to unpin the tab, which turns it then back into a regular tab. And one of the cool things that also you can do, obviously, is you can duplicate this tab. So if you wanted to open up an exact copy of that window and maybe continue working on something, you have that option too. You could also close all other tabs other than this one. You can close tabs to the right. This is another cool function as well. So if you're here and you want to close everything to the right of this, you click on that and it shuts down all those tabs to the right. If you wanted to, you can automatically reopen closed tabs. Now this is a combination of normal Chrome functionality and also functionality that gets added with the awesome tab page. So if I were to do this, for example, with all of these tabs, or if I were to set them automatically to work that way, what you would see is what I work with on a normal basis. I have six or seven windows open and it barely takes up a third of my screen because I use these tabs normally like this. Now the next tip I want to show you relates to opening up Google Chrome with exactly the tabs that you want to have opened at any given time, things that you use most often. For example, whenever I load my uh, Google Chrome window, I'm usually using the same tabs. These are the tabs I interact with most throughout the course of the day. That's Gmail, I'm in Salesforce, which is my CRM, I'm in Smartsheet, which handles most of uh, my projects. I like to open QuickBooks or FreshBooks, which handles my finance or accounting, and then of course I'm in Hootsuite. So, what you can do is, and the way you do this, I'll show you exactly how this works. I'm gonna first, first what I'm going to do is actually quit Chrome. So you can see exactly how this works. So I'm running a Mac. This works the same way on a PC as well. But I'm going to come down here to my dock and I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And you're going to notice, other than it opening the wrong window, it automatically loads with my tabs right here. So it opened using all of the tabs that I wanted it to use. And it did that automatically. I didn't have to open any of these. So there's a real easy way to do that. And I'm going to show you exactly how. So over here on the right side is your uh, Chrome customization tools. So you're going to click this drop down menu arrow and you're going to go over to settings. And in the settings area, you're basically going to see this area here, which is the second area, which says on startup. And you could tell it to do several different things on startup. So you can tell it to open the new tab page and the new tab page is, is what you see here. This is a new tab page. You can continue where you left off. So for example, if I had five different uh, pages or tabs open and I closed Chrome, 
when I reopen Chrome, I could make it reopen those exact pages that were opened before I closed, and that you would use continue where I left off. Or you can open a specific page or set of pages. And in doing so, you can come here and click set pages, and this lists all the pages that you might use to set your tabs. So for example, I have all these pages open right now, and these are the pages that I would normally want to use. So when I click set pages, it's going to show me all of the pages. For example, I could click use current pages and it's going to show me the pages I have open currently. And then you could remove ones if you don't want them. For example, let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. And let's just open these three, my mail, my Gmail, my Salesforce and Hootsuite. And here's these pages. And then I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to close down Chrome again and then I'm going to open it again so you can see how this works. And you'll see here I'm just going to pop in Chrome into the window. You'll see the pages loading are my Gmail page, Hootsuite, and Salesforce. So you can see how those pages get added. If I want to add new pages again I can of course come back here and add these pages and if they're pinned they will show up as being pinned. So just a really cool and easy way to turn your really messy tabs into a really clean and neat usable tab space. Hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment here on our post or on the video and we hope it helps you out. See you soon.